Good morning everybody, it is Sunday today and I've had a very productive morning so far. Um, I've edited a vlog, I've had some email correspondence with somebody about something. <laughs> How mysterious of me. And today is going to be a bit of an admin day, I've got quite a long list of things that I need to get done. I'm supposed to be going back to school tomorrow. If you haven't been watching the school situation in the UK, I'm going to sum it up very quickly for you. Basically, I would have been going back to school tomorrow, however, the government has given schools an inset day to try and work out how they're going to do mass testing. So officially, I would be going back on Tuesday instead. However, um, secondary school students are not going back until the 11th if they're in year 11, and not until the 18th if they're in all the years below year 11, and I don't teach year 11, so officially I'm not going back to teach in person until the 18th of January. However, I will be remote teaching from Tuesday, which is basically teaching over Google Meet, which is going to be very strange, a lot of hard work, and I'm sure there will be many challenges along the way. So I need to kind of get myself prepared today and tomorrow for this remote teaching. I need to have a look at my new timetable and my new student lists and um, and just, yeah, get my head in the right space so that I'm kind of best prepared to start doing this because I think it's going to be very weird. My biggest worry at the moment is the lack of engagement because there is nothing... What is it? Am I shooting myself in the foot by saying this? I don't know. I think unless parents are there making sure that their student accesses every lesson of the day, I think there's going to be... I don't know. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to jinx it, but um, I need to get in the right kind of headspace for doing that. I also need to email my mortgage advisor. <laughs> Very grown up. I also need to finish off some master's things. I've got my first master's presentation on the 11th of January and I'm a very, um, I work best under pressure and I like to leave things until I really have to do them. Um, and today and tomorrow is kind of pushing to that time where I really have to do these things. Oh, that's pretty much it on the admin side of things. So I think the first job, because it's the funnest one, is to redo my timetable, colour code it as well. Um, and get that printed off for my planner, and then I'll do all the boring ones after that. Right, let's timetable it up. I saw this amazing thing online the other day of upcycling Christmas cards into tags for next year. So what I did, because mum was about to throw them all away, is that I made this kind of like template, the shape of a, a gift tag, um, and I drew around all of our Christmas cards around like interesting parts of them. And I cut out some of them. I mean, some of them aren't great, but some of them are so lovely. Let me try and find a really nice one like this. I just think, what a lovely gift tag. You'd probably buy a set of those for a few pounds. That one was from the same card. Um, and there's some like really nice, you can have diamantes and embossing. Some cool ones there. And I just thought, what a nice way to reuse your Christmas cards um, and save them for next year. And then of course, once they were cut out, I just uh, used a hole punch to pop a little hole in there. But see, I'm already excited about next year's wrapping. Now that I've got these. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Delightful. It's going well. I've just emailed my three months paychecks and my full Experian credit report to the mortgage advisor. So that's going well. Elliot just needs to do his now. Mum and I are not eating meat for January, as you saw. The first was an exception because I accidentally made a ham. <laughs> accidentally made a ham. But we're not going to eat meat. So we are. We are going to have a roast today, but a meatless roast. Poor Craig, because he doesn't really want to do this, but he'll probably be sucked in anyway. But I'm wondering what alternative we could have. Maybe I could Google it. Um, veggie roast, because I don't know about a nut roast. I'm not sure that I'm a nut roast kind of person. Lentil roast? Mm. BBC Good Food, always very reliable. Vegetarian Wellington. Oh! <gasps> Mum and I are heading out to get some fresh air. We're going to go on the Wivelsfield walk that we, in the first lockdown, we literally did like every day. And then suddenly we just didn't go again and we haven't been since then, so we thought that would be a nice change today. Get some fresh air, get back on our little Wivelsfield loop, see if the horses are still out in the field. I'm not going to take my camera though because my hands are going to be too cold, so see you when we get back. And then we're going to start cooking the roast. Mm. We're back from our walk now. It was very, very... Very muddy and pretty cold. My thighs are 
freezing. Right, should we start prepping some veggies? Are, are we having this as like a early dinner or are we waiting for a while? I don't know, we haven't eaten that way so we could start prepping. I have just had an accidental nap in front of the fire. I say accidental, I mean I laid down with a pillow and a blanket, so I was kind of expecting it. I'm in a trackies, a big jumper, with this enormous blanket on top of me, and in front of the fire, and I just can't seem to get warm today, but it was a lovely little nap, I have to say. It was delightful, and I've woken up to dinner being ready, so what a treat. <laughs> I always say that when we have a roast, my least favourite thing on the plate is the meat. Not that I don't like it, I just think compared to like the potatoes and all the veggies, the meat is the least important part. So today, instead of getting like um, a nut roast or a mushroom wellington, we just went without the meat. So it's just like a normal roast, just without the meat. And that looks absolutely a delightful. Bang. <laughs> It is bedtime. It feels really weird having to set an alarm for tomorrow. Like I usually set an alarm anyway, but I don't have to set an alarm. But for tomorrow, I have to set an alarm. And it's just gonna be really interesting to hear what the plan is gonna be for the mass testing, so stay tuned. Thanks very much for watching this vlog and I'll see you soon. Probably not for a while now. Probably not until next weekend. But see you then. Good night.